I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponential functions. Here we will try to write down the equation from the given graph. We have four different graphs to work with and their general equation is given. I like you to pause the video, write the equations from the given graphs and then check with my solutions. Here are graphs of part C and D. Critical parameters which you have to take are the horizontal asymptotes and the value of the function at x equals to 0 and plus minus 1. That should help you to provide the correct equation. Let us see how to do it one by one. So in part A, what we notice is that the horizontal asymptote is this, right? So basically what we show you here is that the function is approaching 0 but it is not really at 0 right so in this particular case we have a horizontal asymptote which is y equals to 0 it really means that when x approaches negative infinity y approaches 0 right so that is the horizontal asymptote so if you write negative infinity here, you get the value of c. So the horizontal asymptote also provides you the value of c directly. So we get that the value of c for this particular graph should be equal to 0. Now to find a and b, we should take a points which are at x equals to 0 and at x equals to 1. So these are two critical points which can help us find the equation of the given graph. So in this equation, if I substitute x equals to 0 and y equals to, from here you can read, y is equal to 2, since this point here is 0, 2, right? We have already found that c is 0, right? since the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis. So we get 2 equals to a times b to the power of 0. Now anything to the power of 0 is 1, so we get 2 equals to a. So that gives you the value of a. So let me write down here, a is equal to 2. Now to find the value of b, we can take the other point, which is in this case 1 and 6. So if I substitute 1 for x and 6 for y, we get here 6 equals to a is 2 as we just found here, b to the power of x is 1 and c is 0. So that gives you 6 divided by 2 is the value of b which is equal to 3. And so the value of th b is 3. And we can write this function as equal to a is 2 for us b to the power of x clear so that really helps so basically the points at 0 and 1 and the horizontal asymptote helps you to figure out the equation now in this particular case what do we notice well we have again a horizontal asymptote which is at minus 1 so as we see that the horizontal asymptote is at y equals to minus 1, the value of c is equal to minus 1, right? And therefore, we can write this as y equals to a b to the power of x minus 1, clear? Now, let's look into some points, especially this one is at 0, 0. It really helps because anything to the power of 0 is 1, right? So, that means we are able to isolate one of the variables and that is why we always check this point. And also, the value at plus or minus 1 helps, right? So, these two points will definitely help us to find the value of a and b. So, using this point, which is 0, 0, right? Let's call this as a point a, right? We get 0 equals to a b to the power of 0 minus 1. Taking 1 on the left side, we get 1 equals to a. So we have now the value of a. So let me write down from here that a is equal to 1. 
Now it's easy to find B using the second point, which in this case is right there. And this second point, let's call this point as B, which is at minus 1, 1. So using this point, we get 1 equals to A is 1 for us. So we get B to the power of minus 1, minus 1. Taking this minus 1 to the left side, we get 2 equals to b to the power of minus 1. That is to say that 2 is equal to 1 over b, so b is equal to half. Correct? So we get b as half here, so we can write b equals to half. And therefore, now the equation will become what? Equation for the given graph will be y equals to, let me write here, y equals to a value is 1, b is half to the power of x, and c is minus 1. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually write down this equation. The very first one was y equals to 2, and base b for us was 3, 3 to the power of x, correct? So that is how we get the first two. So I hope you have understood the basic steps. Now let us see how to get the equation of a transformed function. Part C. Write equation of the exponential function from the graph y equals to 2 to the power of k x minus d plus c. So we have to look for horizontal asymptote which is right there at y equals to 2. So that is your horizontal asymptote, right? And since there are two other parameters, we should look into two other points. A good point could be minus 1, minus 1, and this is also an excellent point to consider. So things which we are going to consider in this particular case will be 1, horizontal asymptote, which is y equals to minus 2. And then we are using two points, this one a, which is minus 1, minus 1, and b, which is minus 2, 0. So those two points should give us the value of k and t. Right? So let's begin our solution. So when horizontal asymptote is y equals to minus 2, in that case, the value of c is equal to minus 2. So we get equation as y equals to 2 to the power of k x minus d plus minus 2. Right? Now this equation, it is better to write in the form like 2 to the power of kd, kx, right, times 2 to the power of minus kd. And this is minus 2, right. So if I split and write like this, then it becomes easier to work with the points. Now using the point a, which is minus 1, minus 1, that means y value is minus 1, and the x value is also minus 1. So we get 2 to the power of minus k times 2 to the power of, that is, minus kd minus 2. Bringing this minus 2 to the left side, we get minus 1 plus 2 equals to 2 to the power of minus k times 2 to the power of minus kd. Right. So, so which is equal to minus 1 plus 2 is 1. Correct. Let's call this as our equation number 1. So our equation number 1 here is this. 2 to the power of minus k times 2 to the power of minus kd is equal to 1. Now let us substitute the second point, which is uh, minus 2 and 0. So 0 for y and minus 2 for x. So we are substituting this in that particular equation, correct? So we get 2 to the power of minus 2k times 2 to the power of minus kd minus 2. So rearranging this, we get the equation as 2 to the power of minus 2k times 2 to the power of minus kd equals to 2. Right? We'll call this as our equation number 2. Now, if I divide one equation by the other, what do we get? So let's divide equation 2 by equation 1. 
these two equations. Right? We are keeping this on the top. Okay. So once you do that, the term here gets cancelled 2 to the power of minus kd. Right. That cancels. And we get 2 to the power of minus 2k. Let me rewrite. Times 2 to the power of minus kd over this term, which is 2 to the power of minus k times 2 to the power of minus kd equals 2, 2. Now, as you can see, these terms are same. They cancel. And we get 2 to the power of minus 2k divided by 2 to the power of minus k. So, that becomes 2 to the power of minus k equals to 2. Now, 2 could be written as like 1, correct? So, from here, we get the value of k as equal to minus 1. Is that clear to you? So, we get the value of k as minus 1. Now, since we have k as minus 1, we can substitute this value back into one of our equations. Let's say equation number 1 and get the value of d, right? So, let's get back to equation 1. So, we will we'll do here. Since now k is equals to minus 1, we'll sub into the equation which is for us. 2 to the power of minus k times 2 to the power of minus kd equals to 1. Substituting k as minus 1 here, we get 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of d equals to 1. Correct? Now, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And so, so from here, we get 2 to the power of d equals to 1 over 2, which is 2 to the power of minus 1, correct? So, from here, we get the value of d as equal to minus 1, clear? So, slightly tricky, a lot of calculations involved. But once we get these two values, we already know what c is, which is right there. Let me highlight these. So, now we can write down the equation. And the equation for us will be y equals to 2 to the power of k is minus 1. So minus x and d is also minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 for c. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to get this solution. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now, here is the last question for you. This is similar to what we have done just now. The k value now is positive, right? It's exponential growth. I would like you to pause the video and answer this question yourself, right? So, okay, let's begin. Important things which we notice here is, one, horizontal asymptote, which is y equals to, again, minus 2, and which implies that c is equals to minus 2. So we have the equation y equals to 2 to the power of kx, I'm writing this as kx, times 2 to the power of minus kd. And c value is minus 2, minus 2. Clear? Now we need to consider two points. The best points which I can see from this graph are these. Let's say this point is a, which is at 1, minus 1. Another good point is right there, so which is at 2, we have the value 2. So we'll consider these two points, A and B, to find the value of K and D. Right? So in this, if I substitute the point A, which is 1 minus 1, what do I get? So we get minus 1 as the Y value, 2 to the power of X times, sorry, 2 to the power of K, X is 1. And here we get 2 to the power of minus kd minus 2. So that gives you an equation which is bringing this to the right side, which gives you an equation. Let me write down equation as bringing this to the left side, 2 minus 1, which is 1 equals to 2 to the power of k times 2 to the power of minus kd. Right? I'll call this as my equation number 1. The next point which we are going to use is 2 and 2. So we write 2 here for y value, 2 to the power of 2k 
times 2 to the power of minus kd minus 2. That gives you another equation, which is taking 2 to this side, we get 4. So, we get this time 4 equals to 2 to the power of 2k times 2 to the power of minus kd. Equation 2. Now, if I divide one by the other, so let's say again, we'll do equation 2 divided by equation 1. So, so we have 4 over 1 equals 2. 2 to the power of 2k times 2 to the power of minus kd over 2 to the power of k times 2 to the power of minus kd. So, these two terms cancel clearly. And what we get here is 4 equals to 2 to the power of 2k minus k is k. Now, 4 is 2 to the power of 2 and therefore we get k is equals to 2. Okay? So, we get our value of k as 2. Let's call this as our equation number 3. To find the value of d, we can use one of these equations. So, let's use the very first one. So, we'll sub 3. So, k equals to 2 in our equation 1. So, here we have 1 equals to 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of minus 2d. Right? So, so that's what we have. So, 2 to the power of 2, when you bring it on this side, it gets 2 to the power of minus, because half, right? So, you could write half or... Uh, you could write this as uh, 1 divided by 2, right? 2 to the power of minus 2. Correct? So, or let me just do like this. This is 1 over 2 to the power of 2. Let me do it in two steps. So, I'm writing 1 over 2 square, bringing it on this side, equals to 2 to the power of minus 2d. So, I'm just doing two steps. So, that gives you 2 to the power of minus 2 equals to 2 to the power of minus 2d. Now, comparing the exponents, we get d equals to 1. Clear? So, you could do like this. So, we get the value of d as 1. Since we know all the values, now we can write down the transform function y equals to 2. The value of k is 2. x, d is 1, minus 1. And c is minus 2, minus 2. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to get the equation of the given graph. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So whenever you have to write equation of a exponential function from the graph, look at the horizontal asymptote. That's a key feature. And also look at good points around plus minus 1, plus minus 2. That should help you. X and Y intercepts are also good points if you can clearly read them. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.